in previous lecture you have studied the second colligative property that is boiling point elevation now in that we discuss what is boiling point that is definition the temperature at which the vapor pressure of liquid becomes equal to the atmospheric pressure that is one atmosphere that temperature is known as a boiling point when the pressure is one bar it is called as the standard boiling point when it is one atmosphere it is called as normal boiling point here i discussed last time that is difference between the evaporation and boiling next point that is what is the cause for elevation in boiling point why boiling point is elevated means increase the main cause when the non volatile solute is added to the solvent to form the sol solution here first result is the there is a lowering of vapor pressure and due to this lowering of vapor pressure here the solution we have to heat the solution more in another words here the boiling point of solution becomes higher than that of pure solvent or solution boils at higher temperature next that is the with the help of this graph it is clear the difference between the boiling point of solution minus boiling point of pure solvent because t b is greater than t not b this difference is called as elevation in boiling point so here this is the vapor pressure curve for solvent this is the vapor pressure curve for solution so here the corresponding temperature at which the vapor pressure of the solvent becomes equal to the atmospheric pressure that is 760 mm one atmosphere that is it is known as a boiling point of pure solvent denoted by t not here this is the vapor pressure curve for solution the corresponding temperature tb at one atmospheric pressure when the vapor pressure becomes one atmosphere this temperature is known as a boiling point of solution so tb is greater than t not b this difference is nothing but the boiling point elevation is it clear next that is the reason why boiling point of solution is higher than that of pure solvent now just i told you that here the boiling point is the temperature at which the vapor pressure of that liquid becomes equal to the one atmosphere so whenever pure solvent is considered here in this case the solvent molecules are volatile means they can be vaporized and go into the vapor state these vapor molecules exert the vapor pressure here when the vapor pressure of pure solvent becomes equal to the one atmosphere that will be the boiling point of pure solvent but when we dissolve the solute to the solvent to form the solution in case of solution the vapor pressure is lower or it is decreased and therefore here we have to heat the solution more as compared to pure solvent and therefore here the solution boils at higher temperature or the vapor pressure of solution it requires the higher temperature to reach the value of one atmospheric pressure as compared to vapor pressure of pure solvent and therefore the boiling point of solution is higher than that of pure solvent again this relation between delta tb and concentration of solute Now, as the boiling point elevation, it is a colligative property. Means it depends on the number of solute particles present in the solution. So here, the number of solute particles means the amount of solute in the solution. That is concentration of solute. It is expressed in terms of molality. So delta T B directly proportional to molality of the solution. So here, proportionality constant is removed. constant kb is inserted delta tb is equal to kb into m so this kb is known as boiling point elevation constant or 
molar elevation constant or ebullioscopic constant m is the molality of solution now if we put the value of m as a one molar the this equation becomes kb is equal to delta t and from this equation here the ebullioscopic constant kb it is defined as it is the elevation in boiling point for one molar solution or elevation in boiling point produced by one molar solution what about unit unit of kb it is kelvin kilogram per mole which can be derived from this equation that is kb becomes equal to delta tb upon m this is the difference between the two temperature therefore kelvin and divided by molality m means the unit of molality it is mole per kg so it becomes kg per mole so kelvin kilogram per mole many times in mcq this question may be asked the unit unit of ebullioscopic constant is and the options are given so simple method to remember this unit that is from this equation kb is equal to delta tb upon m up to this point you have learned in the previous video now this boiling point elevation which is a colligative property it can be used to calculate the molar mass of solute just we discuss the colligative property lowering of vapor pressure in that property also we can calculate the molar mass of solute from the lowering of relative lowering of vapor pressure similar to that from boiling point elevation it is possible to calculate the molar mass of non volatile solute now in this case delta tb is equal to kb into m here w2 gram of solute with molar mass m2 is dissolved in w1 gram of solvent then the number of moles of solute in w1 gram of solvent is equal to w2 upon m2 where m2 is the molar mass of solute mass of solvent w1 gram it is converted into kg by dividing by the factor 1000 so it becomes w1 upon 1000 kg so what is molality m m is nothing but the moles of solute divided by mass of solvent in kg so put these values moles of solute that is w2 upon m2 put here moles of solute divided by mass of solvent in kg that is w1 upon 1000 now substitute the value of molality in this equation it becomes delta tb is equal to kb into this value of molality from this m2 that is molar mass of non volatile solute can be calculated if all these values on the right hand side are known now we see the examples the numericals based on this formula see this is the solved example normal boiling point of ethyl acetate is 77.06 degree celsius a solution of 50 g of non volatile solute in 150 g of ethyl acetate boils at 84.27 degree celsius evaluate the molar mass of solute if kb for ethyl acetate is 2.77 degree celsius kg per mole okay whenever the numerical part is there read the numerical carefully which things are given we have to mention here given data weight of solute is given w2 is equal to 50 g weight of solvent is given w1 is equal to 150 g it is as here delta tb means tb minus t not b boiling point of solution minus boiling point of pure solvent to put these values these values are given in the numerical so this difference becomes 7.21 degree celsius because these values are given in a degree celsius so the unit difference elevation in boiling point it is equal to 7.21 degree celsius now here 
it is equal to 7.21 kelvin try to understand this is the difference between the two temperature so you can express whether in degree celsius or in kelvin the difference will be the same okay kb is given here also now substituting these values in the formula just we derived this formula for the calculation of molar mass of non volatile solute put these values here m2 becomes 128 g per mole when calculating this value this division multiplication here you can use logarithmic table in board exam now this example is from the exercise a solution of citric acid c6 h8 o7 a solution of citric acid has in a 50 g of acetic acid has a boiling point elevation of 1.76 kelvin if kb for acetic acid is given which is 3.07 Kelvin kilogram per mole. What is the molality of solution? Now here, which things are given? A solution of citric acid in fifty gram of acetic acid. So citric acid, it is a solute. Acetic acid, fifty gram of acetic acid, means it is a solvent. Elevation in boiling point, it is given delta T B, one point seventy six kelvin. K B is also given. Okay, and you have to calculate the molality. Now, which relation we have to use here from given quantities? Here, molality, elevation in boiling point, Kb. This relation, just we discuss here. M is equal to delta Tb upon Kb. Simply put these values and calculate this. Finally, molality becomes equal to point fifty seven thirty three mole per kg. is it clear okay next that is the next colligative property depression in freezing point so let me revise the colligative properties that we discuss in the previous videos first lowering of vapor pressure relative lowering of vapor pressure elevation in boiling point and this is the third colligative property that is the depression in freezing point what is freezing point see in boiling point liquid phase it is converted into vapor phase in freezing point liquid is converted into solid that you know the meaning of freezing so freezing point of a liquid substance it is the temperature at which the liquid and solid phase of that substance they are in equilibrium and they have same vapor pressure see the definition of freezing point again it is the temperature at which liquid and solid are in equilibrium and these two phases have same vapor pressure it is known as freezing point of liquid Okay. Now here again, as it is a colligative property, it depends on the number of solute particles. Thus, freezing point of solution containing non-volatile solute is lower than that of pure solvent. Now see the name. Depression means decrease in a freezing point. Now why the freezing point is decrease or depress? when the solute is added to the solvent to form the solution so here we discuss the reason here if delta tf that is the depression in freezing point means it is the difference between the two freezing point now first if t not f is the freezing point of pure solvent and tf is the freezing point of solution then here the t not f is greater than tf or you can say that tf is smaller than t not 
okay so this difference delta tf equal to t not f minus tf this delta tf is known as depression in freezing point now here we see the why there is a depression in freezing point okay <coughs> now in second colligative property that is elevation in boiling point what was the reason when solute is dissolved in a solvent to form the solution the first thing happens is the vapor pressure lowering and therefore here also as a consequence of vapor pressure lowering the freezing point is decreased or depress so these two elevation in boiling point freezing point depression these two colligative properties they are related actually to the first colligative property that is vapor pressure lower okay now here i explain vapor pressure temperature diagram for the pure solvent solution and frozen solvent or solid solvent okay here you can observe this here the vapor pressure it is plotted against here temperature on this axis x axis now this is the vapor pressure curve for liquid solvent that is pure solvent cd curve ef curve it is the vapor pressure temperature curve for the solution means when the solute is dissolved in a solvent now just i told you that whenever solute is dissolved in a solvent to form the solution its vapor pressure is lowered and therefore this vapor pressure temperature curve for the solution it lies below the vapor pressure curve of liquid solvent or pure solvent now here freezing point when liquid solvent or pure solvent freezes its vapor pressure decreases here vapor pressure decreases along this curve that is curve ab now at this point b here the temp corresponding temperature it is known as freezing point of pure solvent which is denoted by t not f try to understand here this is the vapor pressure curve of solution means in solution there is a solute and solvent here if we extend this vapor pressure curve here it touches the curve from for this frozen solvent or solid solvent here at this temperature now you can observe this on this graph this temperature is lower the temperature corresponding to this e point here where the solution freezes actually remember that the solvent from the solution freezes not the solute particles and so here this solution vapor pressure curve for solution when we extend it touches the curve for the frozen solvent at this point e now at this point e the corresponding temperature it is the tf that is the freezing point of solution now we can clearly observe that here the tf is less than t not f it is the meaning t not f means it is the freezing point of pure solvent tf is the freezing point of solution so which one is a smaller tf is a smaller than t not f and therefore we can say that there is a decrease in freezing point when the solute is dissolved in a solvent and this depression in freezing point it is denoted by delta tf which is equal to t not f minus tf okay followed so in this video i discuss the points which are these points here boiling point elevation this colligative property here the relation between the molar mass of solute and how the molar mass of solute can be calculated if the boiling point elevation and ebullioscopic constant 
weight of solute and solvent are known the numericals based on the elevation in boiling point for the calculation of molar mass of solute as well as the calculation of molality so that was also discussed next colligative property that is the depression in freezing point in this property here i discuss the definition of freezing point of liquid and when the non volatile solute is dissolved in a solvent there is a decrease in freezing point of the solution means the freezing point of solution is decrease and therefore the name depression in freezing point now why there is a decrease in freezing point of the solution so that i will discuss in the next video here the depression in freezing point or decrease in freezing point denoted by delta t f which is equal to here the t not f is the freezing point of pure solvent minus t f that is the freezing point of solution so this depression in freezing point mainly it is due to the lowering of vapor pressure because whenever in pure solvent solute is dissolved it forms the solution so first result is the lowering of vapor pressure takes place so as a result of vapor pressure lowering here the freezing point of solution is decreases or depresses now this can be explained with the help of this graph just i explained this graph these two are the vapor pressure curves for the this is for pure solvent that is liquid solvent cd curve ef curve this is the vapor pressure curve for solution when the pure solvent freezes here at this point its vapor pressure decreases and its vapor pressure decreases along the curve ab so to this curve ab it is for frozen solvent that is solid solvent here if we extend the vapor pressure curve for the solution here it touches the curve which is for the frozen solvent ab curve so it touches the curve ab which is for the solid solvent or frozen solvent at the point e now this point e corresponds to the temperature tf which is lower than t not f so it clearly indicates that the solution freezes at lower temperature as compared to temperature for the pure solvent so freezing in another word freezing point of solution is less than freezing point of pure solvent and this difference is known as depression in freezing point followed on next time we will discuss why the freezing point of solution is decreased when the non volatile solute is added to the solvent to form the solution thank you